Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 22 online game. Today we have the Cleveland Browns taking on the Atlanta Falcons, and today we'll be playing with, I would say a future superstar of the league in Kyle Pitts, but Kyle Pitts is a current superstar, at least in Madden 22. Like, legitimately, you see Kyle Pitts has superstar abilities. And he hasn't even played an NFL game yet, so EA really thinks highly of Kyle Pitts. Kind of like the Atlanta Falcons do, as high as they took him in the NFL draft. Here's Pitts on third down, on the corner route, get some separation on the route, and a whole lot more afterwards. And Kyle Pitts, he'll take his time and he'll eventually score the touchdown. Alright, I like that. I mean, it was against goal line defense. I don't know what my opponent thought he was doing there, but we'll take it. Thank you very much. But yeah, Kyle Pitts has the superstar abilities of mid-in, elite, or specialist, or whatever it's called. And then he has red zone specialist, which is surprising. The fact that Kyle Pitts has abilities. When you think about it, Trevor Lawrence, who has been touted as one of the top quarterback prospects in years, he did not end up being the rookie who got superstar abilities on day one. It ended up being Kyle Pitts. It's just a little weird that, like, you know, he hasn't played an NFL game yet, and he has superstar abilities compared to some people who don't in the league. But um, that's tit for tat, I suppose. Fourth down, we'll just worry about trying to get a stop on the defensive end here on Baker Mayfield and the Browns. They will look to pass the ball, and they'll get the conversion to Jarvis Landry. The Browns are definitely one of the better Madden teams out there this year. You got Nick Chubb at the running back position. At wide receiver, you got Landry, OBJ, and then you got the rookie Anthony Schwartz, who I believe has 97 speed. So if you put Anthony Schwartz in the game, man, you got a killer trio. And then Baker Mayfield, it's his job to deliver the ball on target, third down and four. He'll just take it off himself. And I was sketchy, but I believe Baker did get the first down. Deion Jones trying to do his best out there, you know, maybe try to force a fumble, but instead the drive lives on and Nick Chubb lives on because the first man never brings down Nick Chubb. That's just a rule of thumb. Um, whether it's real life or Madden as we do a great job of covering Odell underneath so obviously in this game we're gonna try to get the ball to Kyle Pitts as much as we possibly can and uh, try to play good enough defense to win the game third down that's great defense making the open field tackle on Nick Chubb who I just said was impossible to bring down one-on-one -on -one. all right I, I like to be proven wrong in situations like that fourth down I like getting interceptions on plays like that I like when people put their hands in the cookie jar because they don't get away with it as we run the ball here with Mike Davis who I guess is the starting running back for the Atlanta Falcons right some teams really know what they're doing we just did a video on Najee Harris I'm not sure the Falcons know what they're doing at the running back spot as I was looking to take a deep shot there to Kyle Pitts but we'll just hold it and we'll actually lose two yards on the run I think either way third down and four here here's Matt Ryan he'll get intercepted by another promising rookie jock of the Cleveland Browns and um, not exactly a coverage guy I don't think but uh, I mean, man, he dropped into coverage pretty well there as that is just a straight-up drop and not a good one at that for the Cleveland Browns as Baker Mayfield gets sacked. Third down and 16 upcoming in this Falcons defense. They're making some noise, and they will knock the ball out of Baker's hands and force the punt by the Cleveland Browns. I believe my opponent just called... Hail Mary on third down and 16. So this guy, his third down play calls on both sides of the ball have been odd. Goal line defense, Hail Mary offense. Hey, man, fine by me as long as we can dial up big plays to Kyle Pitts. That was nearly all the way. That was Denzel Ward who made the shoe string tackle. We'll run no huddle here. See if the seams are open once again for Kyle Pitts. And it looks like it is. Matt Ryan puts it on the money and Pitts is in. Two plays, 93 yards, all Kyle Pitts. I don't know how many tight ends can make that play right now. Uh, really, in Madden, I don't know how many can make that play, but Kyle Pitts, like, you can see just how dominant he can be. And, you know, I mentioned it in the Steelers video when we're talking about, like, if you start a franchise, Najee Harris is your guy. If you start a franchise with the Atlanta Falcons, it would be criminal to not turn Kyle Pitts into, like, a 99 overall because this guy is just scary good, and he's a superstar off the bat. It's just, like, he doesn't even need superstar abilities to be good. He is that athletically gifted and he's got the height and all that he's got the catching ability and it's just it's absolutely insane if he works out you no know, 
in real life for the Atlanta Falcons. Like, if that all translates onto the gridiron for real, then the Falcons got themselves an absolute gem. And he is worthy of, what, the number four overall pick in the draft. As Deion Jones gets the interception. And we're actually going to run the ball here with Mike Davis one more time. Bouncing around. Mike Davis is doing his job running, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for Kyle Pitts, who's open again. It's floating forever. And it's going to be incomplete. Denzel Ward, I don't think, had both feet in bounds. He ended up dropping the ball anyways. It's third down and four. And do we go again to Kyle Pitts? We'll try it. Oh, Pitts nearly got it off the ricochet. It will be incomplete, though. It's fourth down and four with a minute eight left in the first half. We're going to go forward here. Nope, field goal. Let's try to hit up Pitts, but he's covered this time around. We got Russell Gage, though. As everybody leaked out to Kyle Pitts, Russell Gage got open. Unfortunately, Russell Gage went out of bounds for no reason before we threw him the ball. Like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> That's going to be a weird turnover on downs because it said it was a 27-yard penalty on the UI right there. I don't know why, but everything's normal. He accepted the penalty, and he's got the ball where he was supposed to have it, I believe. So, I mean, it's all good, I suppose. As, uh, Travis Landry, that was always going to be a tough catch to make. And you guys will notice the momentum boost in this game as Deion Jones gets the interception here. One of the momentum boosts that we have on our side as Deion Jones gives the ball away to Odell Beckham Jr. as I try to lateral it right there is hot hands. Keep that in mind. I'm going to try, try that out as we get on in this video to see if... Hot hands can really improve your catching chances, and if so, by how much? That was a beautiful swat there on first down. Second down, redemption for the Browns. They'll hit up Kareem Hunt out the backfield, and they still got all their timeouts. Well, not anymore, but they had all their timeouts, so that will allow them to engineer potentially a drive to get into field goal range. Nah, throw, throw that whole script out the window because Baker Mayfield has thrown yet another interception. This guy is truly struggling right now. It's 0-14, to 14 and it could truly be a lot worse, as you see. Um... I'm just trying to do the most with Kyle Pitts here. I'm trying to find different ways to use Kyle Pitts, but it just seems to be so easy to just run him up the seams. That time, it was a little bit of a wheel route, but uh, with one second left in the half, it's going to be hard to really do anything crazy. I'll try it, though. I'll try it. And Matt Ryan will tell us, yeah. You can try as hard as you want, but I'm just going to throw it incomplete away from everybody. Sure, okay, Matt, do your thing. I don't think we would have made anything crazy happen, but with hot hands on our side, you never know. But we'll, we'll never know. <laughs> so the Browns get the ball to start the second half. We've been playing some tremendous defense. We'll just look to keep that up right here. This guy uh, just, you know, he just seems to be lost in his own mind right now, trying to figure out what to do as he lobs it up. Oh, as uh, how dare, how dare I say that? How dare I question this man's Madden? IQ because he just lobs it to Odell and gets a big play the biggest play of the game by far for him and uh, we could have a game pretty easily if he scores the touchdown as he runs the ball here with Hunt on first down of course when you got the Browns it, you know it's like you want to get the ball to Chubb and Hunt at the same time it's hard to manage the both of them because they're both so good but it seems like this guy's using uh, Kareem Hunt more than he is Chubb he's also using Harris but uh, Harris is not on his team he put his hands in the cookie jar once again, and once again, you do not get away with putting your hands in the cookie jar. Thank you very much. Kyle Pitts, one-on-one. -on -one. Why not throw it up? And Pitts makes the catch. Are you kidding me? Pitts is dancing, but he's not going to score because he was dancing, doing some taunting, and we'll see how that plays out as the cornerback blitz comes in free. Denzel Ward forcing the incompletion. Second down, looking for Pitts in the back of the end zone. He's covered. I'm going to throw the ball away. Actually, I think I was trying to force that one, but it'll be an incompletion nonetheless. Third down, Matt Ryan, watch out. In the corner, Pitts, touchdown! Touchdown! Like, yeah! Touchdown, Kyle Pitts! I... I feel like we need a boot review or something, or a replay, something to verify what we just saw. Touchdown? Yeah, touchdown. Kyle Pitts. <laughs> what in the world? A uh, hot hands, red zone threat, all surely could not have hurt us on that play. Probably helped us in some capacity. But Kyle Pitts, are you like a human being? Like, what in the world was that? And that wasn't no slouch, man. He did that on Denzel Ward. <laughs> like, yo. Yeah, I was like, I was trying to test the limits with Kyle Pitts on those couple of plays, not expecting to do what we did, but we made it happen somehow. So yeah, I'm 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 flabbergasted, and like I'm I'm the person who's benefiting from this Kyle Pitts domination at the moment because 
I mean, man, like, this guy's not really that good at the game, right? He's on five picks with Baker Mayfield, and, you know, he calls goal line on third down sometimes. <laughs> but, but, yo, like, even when you play against someone serious, like, you can see what having Kyle Pitts on your team can do. And here's what I mentioned, Anthony Schwartz in the open field. This guy just ran north-south. He probably had a touchdown there. But, um, nonetheless, a big play there for Schwartz. And Nick Chubb trying to cap the drive off with a touchdown. Oh, so close, but a solid tackle will bring him down one yard short. But it's all for now because he'll just score a touchdown in the next play. I, I think he ran no huddle and ran the same play, and I just didn't really care. I was like, all right, bro, you score. You do your thing. I'm just trying to get back on the field with Pitts and make some more crazy plays happen. At this point, I'm pretty sure Kyle Pitts is well over 200 yards receiving as uh, Cordell Patterson. You know the rules, man. You got Cordell Patterson. You got to return the ball. That's just rules of football is uh, looking for pits underneath there but we're forced off the spot Matt Ryan though launches to Calvin Ridley who looked like had his hands on the ball there but couldn't come up with the catch as uh, Russell Gage here underneath on second now trying to run a stick and nod but uh, the defense dropped way back there so we'll just take what the defense gives us move on to a third down and five where Matt Ryan just gets it off and pits Oh my, he gets open, he gets the reception. Good throw there by Matt Ryan, but man, Kyle Pitts' ability to get open is insane. As, oh man, we nearly mossed him with Pitts. Second down, looking for Pitts on a little post route there, but it's not really going to work out for us. Instead, Jadavion Clowney, the new Cleveland Brown, gets the sack on third down. Oh, pressure, bust, pipes. Cornerback Blitz gets in free once again, this time from the left side, and we end up just trying to force it to Pitts there. I was like, all right, see what we could do time's up and we end up getting picked off unfortunately so um cleveland browns here right for the two minute warning they there is a way to get back into this game as baker whoa what a throw oh what a throw it's a touchdown i was just talking about the way baker launched that one somehow but he puts it on the money to odell in stride for the touchdown i am pretty sure that was not the way the browns drew that up but it looked beautiful. It looked absolutely beautiful. And just like that, we only have a seven-point lead. I've been trashing this guy's Madden abilities, and it's going to come back to haunt us here because now we got to come up clutch to try to win this game. But, man, coverage against Kyle Pitts. Like, you see how much of an issue that is. It's, the, it's just classic, right? You can't put a linebacker on him too slow. And, you know, defense, yeah, defensive back might be too small. So it's just like a conundrum of what to do with Kyle Pitts. And um, clearly this guy is still trying to figure that one out. As, oh, do we force it to Pitts here? Oh, man, I was going to. But we got hit as we threw the ball once again with Matt Ryan on second down. Launching it for Pitts. That was going to be sketchy if it was on target. So that was a good incompletion there by Matt Ryan. Third down, looking for Pitts on the trail route. Oh, that's swatted. That, oh, man, with a bit of a higher throw, but that would have been a tough one to ask. Could have been a big play. Instead, fourth down and ten. We're just going to go for it. Why not? Could go for the two-possession lead, but, I mean, I'm going to try to do the most here. This is just a little rank match. And a little touchdown to Kyle Pitts. A little dagger into the soul of the Cleveland Browns, you know? You, you know how we do out here, man. Like, if I lose this game messing around with Kyle Pitts, so be it. But, I mean, with the way Pitts is playing... We're going to win this game, and we're going to win this game by an extra point at least because we go for the two-point conversion. I was like, hey, Kyle Pitts has red zone threat. Let, let's see what happens if I just put him iso and try to throw a fade route to him. And I mean, damn, I've never seen that animation before. Madden Kyle Pitts, he won that battle, to say the least. He dominated that battle, one would say. Like, that, was, that was filthy. That was absolutely filthy. Like, everything Kyle Pitts has done this game. Like, this is... I, I can't quite believe what we are seeing right now. <laughs> well, you know, it's just, it's a lot of fun to be playing with these Atlanta Falcons. Defense could be a little bit of a headache when you play against someone who knows what they're doing, but I mean, for us today, we get the interception with Fabian Moreau, and it's all sunshine and rainbows right now as Matt Ryan dropping back. I thought I threw the ball to Kyle Pitts here. It's actually Lee Smith, it looks like, because uh, I ran the same formation where I saw Pitts in that wide receiver to run the fader out, so um, yeah, Smith was not quite fast enough to get out of bounds, but nonetheless, one more play before the end of the game. We're going to launch it, see what Kyle Pitts can do! Oh, and he nearly did him dirty to close it out. Um, this dude had terrible users and left us in a one-on-one, -on -one, but unfortunately, Kyle Pitts not able to make the catch, but I mean, damn, Kyle Pitts is good. 
Like, he's a superstar in the game. He doesn't even need the abilities to be good, though. That's the thing. Kalpis doesn't even need these superstar abilities. But as you guys see, red zone threat makes him an absolute unit. <laughs> like, for real, man. Four touchdowns, 333 yards for the tight end, man. That's insane. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed this Pitts performance. Subscribe for more Man 22 gameplays. I don't know how many more rookies I'll be playing with, but um, eventually we'll switch it up and maybe do, like, some X-Factor videos. Uh, but, yeah, until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.